check in again. We are about, oh, 10 miles outside of Youngstown and um, headed for Pittsburgh. So we are going to be in Pittsburgh not that much longer. You can see they're crashed out. Ruby and I are having crackers. So I'm having water crackers and he's having some wheat crackers. He's having a good old time over there. It's keeping him busy. In two miles, continue on to Ohio Turnpike East toward Pennsylvania Turnpike. to Hagerstown, uh, Maryland tonight or not. I'm about to make that decision. Um, I feel fine to keep driving. I just don't really have an understanding of how many more hours I'm committing to. That's the only thing. So at our next rest stop, the gang and I are going to evaluate on the map. Good old fashioned map, by the way, not GPS. And um, we're going to then compare it with GPS, modern day technology. And we will make a decision and then let Colleen know whether we're coming tonight or in the morning, midday, tomorrow. So it is her birthday on Thursday and I wanted to be there tonight. So we had tomorrow to relax and get recuperated before Use the left two lanes to continue onto Ohio Turnpike East toward Pennsylvania Turnpike. For 24 miles, continue straight. 24 more miles, I go straight. Okay. So, I'm going to evaluate in a few minutes when we stop, uh, whether we're going all the way to Hagerstown or whether we are going to camp tonight and enjoy our leftover chicken from last night because, damn, that was good chicken. And, you know, I bought this chicken from a little, um, it was a little deli inside of this grocery well, no, it was more like a gas station travel stop. And they had a really nice deli. In fact, they had um, sharp cheddar cheese curds. I bought a bag of those. That's yum. So good. They're a little more mild than I expected. I had hoped they'd be a little more, um, I don't know, robust in flavor. They're a little more milky. But nonetheless, very good. So I found those and I found these bacon wrap cheese stuffed fresh chicken from a local farm and they were two for ten dollars so it's five dollars in chicken breast let me tell you this chicken breast could feed two people it was huge um but it was all natural and organic uh ingredients really actually a great price when you think about it that was my dinner last night that and some veggies and i was gonna make rice but then i got a patient so never mind i was tired and hungry but that chicken was so good. So I have leftover chicken. I cooked both breasts and um, have a full one left. So if I just want to reheat that, I can eat that. Or even cold, I bet it would be fantastic cold. So I could stay overnight at another campground and then go in tomorrow well rested and showered. Or we can keep going. What do you guys think? I know, keep going, right? Cause I'm almost there. Yes, I'm almost there. And now I have this darn truck in front of me. That's the story of my drive. All right, let's get over it. This truck is going maybe 45 miles an hour. All right. So, nonetheless, here we go. Going down another incline. That might be why he was going slow. Thank you, Mr. Truck, for going slow. Um, so I'm going to go back to eating my crackers and uh, listening to some really awesome music on the radio. I'm going to pull over as soon as I find the next rest stop and evaluate and I'll get back to you guys as whether we're staying 
somewhere for tonight or getting to Hagerstown.